Hey friends, welcome back to yet another fresh vlog. And today in front of me you see the beast, my Ninja Thousand SX. So uh, I've got a very special accessory uh, for my Ninja Thousand SX today, which is going to be super useful for me to uh, carry some knickknacks and uh, on especially on short rides or be it on longer rides also. So any guesses? No prizes for the guess. Yes, my friend. So it's going to be a tank bag from GV. And uh, this is something which is going to fit on a tank ring. And uh, and then it's going to be placed on top of the tank which are, with a locking mechanism. So that uh, I do not have anything magnetic sitting on the paint finish and, you know, blemish the finish of my lovely uh, fuel tank on this uh, Ninja 1000. So, yes. Let me show you what I bought, right? Yes, I got it from Bike and Biker. I placed the order yesterday and super fast delivery. Thanks to them. A special call out to Srijit and uh, Pratik for expediting the delivery of the item. So this is the tag bag, what I've got uh, from GV. So the model number, yeah, it is ST. 602b and it's a 5 liter tank bag four or a five liter tank bag not too big not uh, insignificant but uh, it's a five liter tank bag which can uh, you know carry two kgs of load and then um, yeah it has uh, it's really good top-notch product my friends and uh, this is how it sits as illustrated in the picture so i'll need to go ahead and install this tank ring on which this particular mechanism is going to lock in and uh, unlock as needed so this is the mechanism what you see right behind you so this is the mechanism and uh, which is predominantly which is there which is going to you know sit on the tank ring what we are going to install here and you know sit this way which can be unlocked and locked using this mechanism so yeah in terms of uh, space inside the bag let me show it to you so this is the space what i have in the bag this one probably for the goggles right probably for the goggles and uh, Okay, this is I think sticker or whatever is there on top of it to cover those screws which is from this uh, locking mechanism okay and uh, there is a area or a compartment here and uh, where you can store your stuff whatever I think this is going to be a very ideal bag uh, for those short rides and also the longer rides for it for that matter right uh, what would you really want to keep in uh, such a bag right accessible to you on the in front of you right maybe mobile mobile and then maybe your goggles and maybe your wallet and uh, all those stuff basic stuff right so i think this is a lot of space for all that so yes this is the bag and uh, there is a accessory inside this i think this is your uh, sling tags just in case you want to carry it as a sling bag and then you have this uh, lovely uh, rain cover with a with a provision uh, so that you are able to view your mobile at any point. That's very thoughtful. Uh, yes, another thing what I missed showing you guys is uh, this one. So this thing need to be removed when you install your phone inside the compartment here right so there's a provision here to keep the phone inside uh, so when you do that from here right so that's a decent size uh, when you do that you got to just uh, get this off that's uh, pretty much so yeah just let's keep this aside and uh, let's dive in uh, to install the tank ring first 
right that's the most important one to start the process so there's a lot of paperwork here uh, as usual uh, gv gv explore blah 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 travels news events etc etc riding tips paperwork a lot of paperwork and uh, advertisements etc etc so there is this which talks about lock and unlock mechanism and it talks about the tag illustration here how you can put a safety tag onto your handlebar etc etc so that's pretty much on the this topic here let's go ahead and open up the another pack what we have here which is for uh, the tank ring specific to the bike so it's a ninja thousand and uh, for ninja thousand it is bf29 and uh, this is common to uh, i think z900 as well is what i understood yeah it says z900 so it's common to z900 also so i'm going to leave the links to all these products in the in the description section just in case any of you are interested to uh, take a look All right, so this is our tank ring. See, tank lock system, right? So yes, and then there is an instruction manual as well, which we must review. All right, so this is how it looks. bike specific tank lock ring and this is this need to we need to unscrew uh, the bolts here in order to install we need to remove this four allen bolts what we have inside and then this entire thing comes off and then this is going to be placed so we will get there uh, shortly um, in a while uh, but i'll need to get something to you know uh, cover uh, onto the fuel uh, tank so that i don't allow or i don't let any screws fall off inside the fuel tank right so definitely not a very bad idea once you have your screws inside the tank you are done you're done for the day so yeah that's uh, taken care so i'm going to pick up the respective tools and uh, get going with uh, getting this off from the bike so we've loosened uh, we've loosened all the four uh, allen screws here so we are going to lift this off uh, and uh, get it off the fuel tank right so when we do that this comes off as a complete assembly right so as a full assembly so we are going to keep these uh, fasteners uh, safe and then work on getting this uh, particular uh, thing separated out of it and so that you know we put the tank ring on top of it all right so now we are in the process of uh, getting this uh, tank uh, fuel tank lock uh, separated from the stock uh, ring and uh, that's by removing this screw and this screw which will go on to these areas here so it's basically going to screw in here right two points so yeah all right there we go so once you remove those screws this basically comes off this way right so exactly please note uh, the way we removed it we got to put this back in the same position this way and uh, ensure that this particular portion is going to sit uh, behind the hinge to enable the movement of the fuel tank 
right okay so now let's close this get this closer here this way it's going to sit on that and this is going to sit on this similarly and then close up and then you tighten these bolts carefully be gentle it's uh, plastic so it's not metal so be gentle on the amount of uh, force you would apply all right that should be good enough okay so we have installed the tank uh, lock mechanism onto the tank ring and i put this rubber cover back also this i think is a air uh, uh, if there is an excessive air in the fuel tank or pressure it's to release that so that's important one so this is how it's going to close and uh, once we fix it on the bike this is how it looks from the top so all right so let's go ahead and place it on the bike and see uh, if all looks good So I'm still not going to remove the um, plastic uh, or the tissue what I put in into the fuel tank to make sure that nothing gets in, right? So again, it's going to be very simple here, my friends. There's those four Allen bolts. You just need to put it back, and you should be good to go. And this is the OE original one, so which I'm going to probably keep it aside as a spare or whatever. Okay, so we're going to take the four Allen bolts and uh, start putting it back onto the tank ring. I have not been supplied with any additional uh, uh, fasteners or whatsoever, so I believe uh, it should be a direct fit with the existing screws. Okay, I'm going to torque it a bit. Just as much as it was in the past. Right, so not too much, not too... so I've talked these four uh, Allen bolts uh, in the right place so now I'm going to get this uh, off from my fuel tank okay and uh, plug it in so yes so yes my friends so we have successfully installed the tank ring on the bike and uh, this is how it's going to be all the time and uh, Let's go ahead and try placing this particular tank bag onto the tank and see how it looks on the bike, right? So 
So to lock unlock, we'll need to press the lever on the right side. Um, the lever, this lever. It's, uh, I think it's a pull. So let's figure it out. Okay. It's going to sit on this, this way. Yes, we followed all the instructions exactly. Just double checking. Just want to make sure I have not missed anything. So it always helps to uh, check and recheck. Okay. Now coming back to the fuel tank. Uh, what I can say from this point is uh, it's super sturdy and uh, doesn't move at all. So super sturdy. So yeah, it really helps uh, to go with a tankering tank bag. Uh, it has its own advantages, right? So it doesn't move and you know stays really uh, solid. So yeah, that's it. Just comes off this way. So yeah, this is how the under uh, mechanism looks like, right? So I'm going to place it again. Yeah, it's locked. It's totally locked. Now I'm going to unlock it again. So we need to push this and twist. That's it. It comes off. Now really useful for your short rides or long rides or to carry any knickknacks, etc. And uh, yeah. So this box costed me about close to uh, uh, eleven thousand rupees, uh, including the bike-specific tank ring. So. So yes, that's the that's a short vlog on uh, installation of uh, GV uh, tank bag on my Ninja Thousand along with the tank ring, uh, which is bike specific. So yes, do let me know your thoughts in the comment section, and uh, happy to hear from you. Thank you, and uh, have a wonderful rest of the day.